Greens and welcome to another run of Barris Nerdsville. This, uh, this particular video is based on... I know I've done several videos on cosplaying in the past, but this one is more or less an encouragement. I believe within my heart that if you are not sure what to cosplay, I would suggest something that you do a easy one <laughs> like uh, if you like if you just go into Pokemon and you looked at the uh, season like the like generation one uh, anim like the anime based loosely based on the first generation of Pokemon and there's immense uh, cosplaying out because playing ideas. Sorry about this. There. You see here. Da, 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 da. Sorry, just looking closely here. The, you got Brock. Uh, Brock, he... Well, as I said, you got uh, the first gym leader ever is take she take she or uh, rock. All you just need is cargo pants, uh, black belt, a yellowy yellowy sandy top a like a terracotta type shirt or ready shirt and some generic sneakers that is the quick and easy way but if you want to do it like the anime version You can go with a uh, see here. scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Um, a greenish, darkish greenish top, a khaki um, undershirt. Well, it's like a safari, more like the safari top. You know, like a uh, outer shirt, inner shirt is a like, like dark khaki and dark khaki pants. You know, then. Go like, go like that, but then you can ease. You can easily work off something along the line of Ash Ketchum. Like one, one of the other Ash Ketchum's friends, which. I'm scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Actually, there is quite a number of easier if you want to do like a generic one for his current one with the X and Y. Uh, 
blue a blue top a red like a red hat with a white brim and like a dark navy blue type pants with uh, what looks like black shoes see here as well as you got Misty as well uh, who uh, a yellow a yellow top showing midriff denim short shorts a red suspenders and like reddish type shoes But then you if you want to do something else. You can you can do something else. You can go a along the lines of something a bit more uh, realistic. There's always Doctor Who, and with Doctor Who, it's it is quite easy. To for anyone to pull off a David Tennant or a Matt Smith doctor or even a like Christopher Eggleston was Christopher Eggleston is like a like a leather or a pleather jacket a black shirt on, on underneath like a leathery type pleather type pants and some sturdy boots Uh, let me see, Peter Davison, the fifth doctor, you can easily get away with, uh, a cricket, like a, like a colored white shirt, cricket, uh, um, white over the top of that, a white, uh, jacket, some cricketing pants, and some white shoes. That's, that's very easy stuff you can get away with, with, uh, with Peter Davison. There's also the first Doctor William Hart, uh, yeah William Hartnell, yeah Hartnell. Just needs like a good pair of going out. You just go to like an op shop, get a pair of going out shoot, you know pants, like a white collared shirt, a black jacket over the top, maybe like a bit of a bow tie thing on a bobby here, okay. and black shoes. All perfect for the doctors, that particular doctor. Then you also got his companions. Let's see here, companions. Sweet. You, you've definitely got the female ones. See, scrolling up, but good to the web. There are male companions and female companions, so there is, and there's also uh, alien companions and and robotic companions. So you can get away with some things. Scrolling down. Thank you. 
Hmm. You got you see. Sorry about the wobbly. Just to be on the higgledy piggledy side. You got roast. You definitely got a wonderful. Rose Tyler, if you if you want to, you can look at something like on the Geordie Shore, which is a perfect um, look at what you can, if you want to, you can get like a Union Jack t-shirt, a jacket, some beautiful pants, and that's in the way you go. There's so much you can do with just the one character. You can dress her up, you can dress her down, type thing. But just remember, you can, you can't, you is you, you gotta embody it first as well. Okay. Uh, as well, there you got your Donna Nobles. You got your Martha Jones. But if you don't want to do that, it's gonna be more earlier. You got your Tegans, you got your Aces, you got your uh, Sarah Jane Smiths, which are virtually just normal style clothing you can pick up from an op shop. Remember, when you're starting off with your cosplay, you don't have to spend big to be big. Now let me just. See, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Sorry. Just something like this ribbon. Ribbon in the right places can be a wonderful addition to a to a to any coloured V neck sweater which will make your Star Trek uh, Starfleet uniform be exquisite. Just a plain v-neck, get like a black shirt underneath to make sure your, the black shirt is... Uh, you can see it, then you put the v-neck on, make sure you don't see any of the pattern on, on of the shirt underneath. And. Uh, uh, tricking across the universe type deal. Then, and also with the accessories, you don't have to go online and go big with spending a couple of hundred dollars on a item, uh, be it a, a sword or a gun or anything like that. Uh, me personally, with the Star Trek uniform that I'm going to do. Uh, later, uh, another two Saturdays. I've just bought a plain, just a simple plain bubble, bubble gun. You point the bu bubble and and shoot bubbles, you know. Um, and you can just spray paint that the color of the phaser and. For the sh shots, you know, you can just go like that, do the shooting and, and other such things. Uh, for a uh, sonic screwdriver, for more like the classical ones, you can easily get a piece of PVC pipe. Uh, not much bigger than this uh, sword themed letter opener. And this is a small piece. It's spray painted grey. Find like a little knob or nodule, or you can even use like um, just glue the top of the uh, this of a soy sauce uh, fish. 
and you just don't have to have a go. <laughs> or me 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 or we we or <laughs> or any sound effects of that nature. You got to just in just to do just to do that. You can get away with just having a small three to four Australian dollar piece of PVC pipe. But then you have to cap the you can cap the bottom and cap the top and just do this sticky wicky type stuff. It is a wonderful thing to do cosplaying and as I said just being a beginner you don't have to as I said you don't have to go big to be big. Or you don't have to go online and just go ah oh, I want that costume. Uh, I also want that costume. Let me, let me just go on to eBay. E -B okay. Here we go. Here we go. Cos. Cos. Play in costumes. Depending on where you live. You can get a decent one for about $24, but then all the, co all, the um, all the other ones, you know, do get up to the hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for for you to where for you to buy online there's quite a lot of stuff with like the Harry Potters that they're quite expensive but then you don't need to spend that much to get to it it's just simple uh, if you love Naruto and you want to do the footwear buy yourself a pair of bug boots Put your foot to it, see where your toes are, mark it on, on the uh, boot where your toes are, cut a line across the sole till you get to, the, to that point, and you go down, then you meet up the points and you just cut yourself the uh, toeless boot and you can wear it for, for Naruto. Or a, or if you buy like a like a gum boot and you can just cut off the like the tail, like the tail, the um the, the toe part. It's, and you don't have to do that much for anyway for uh, like fancy dresses or something like that. There are quite a lot of pop-up stores as well that sell onesies and uh, well limited uh, onesies. You can buy a onesie for twenty dollars or something like that, for a good onesie for twenty dollars, and you put your put, put the onesie on. It could be of a Pikachu. It could be of a Pokemon, it could be another Pokemon. And there's just so much more you can do with a onesie, you can add bits and pieces to it. But, as I keep saying, as I keep uh, re uh, repeating myself, you don't have to buy, you don't have to ma be, make everything big, you don't have to be exquisitely huge for a costume to be working well and you can buy gloves now in like costume rated gloves for less than 10 bucks you can you can buy a ghost balaclava mask like a like a butterclava with like a skull thing, 
like a skull across the chops and and be like a bit of a grey in that from an army surplus store you don't have to go big to be big you can even use um, rope for different close playing events as well there is just so much stuff you can work on for your own benefit to keep just to keep your on your toes with where know where to buy where to be where you can think of where to go also it is a good thing for you to build uh, a repertoire or build a friendship with a store I have a friendship with the wonderful people of Surplus City in Parramatta and they sell great military attire and I've bought stuff from there uh, I've bought a well I got from there it was a birthday present back many years ago a like a jacket like a black jacket and that has been instrumental in quite a lot of my professional wrestling themed costumes like the executioner I've been like I do like a lot of original co wrestling cosplay like the uh, I did a, an original cos like an original uh, create a wrestler from any game that I've purchased over the years I've done I've done a background uh, heavy in various things and if it needs like a like a hood hood you know military style jacket black it paid it off you know got, got quite a lot of use out of that for various costumes I've bought the military pants well I've got military pants not from there but from Lowe's but military pants for my birthday a belt for my birthday in like a khaki top and singlet perfect also with the um, dog collar like the dog chains or the dog tags whatever way you want to say it you can all that was for Lieutenant Surge I've already had the boots for many years and that'll be, that's what I've done along with buying a Raichu and got the gloves as well the this just so much things you can buy you can walk through the store with a picture of what you want to uh, let me see whoops just looking at uh, Matt Smith here in, in the doctor the, you can buy some costume jewelry to do that oh, sorry a, a nice t top my navy blue uh, tail jacket Let's see Uh, the same color vest, a chicken, like a striped top, a bow tie, and looks like a gray uh, square print pants, and down the bottom, a good pair of black boots, no, black shoes, I mean. As I said, you just don't have to do so much to be so much. and you can d still do the same thing with the sonic screwdriver and just put in there go here's my sonic screwdriver you know I'm I'm a total badass but you have to own it you know but but as I 
keep saying to, to you guys, and it's been nearly a half an hour I've been chatting here, you just need to be, you just need to be confident in what you wear. If you want to do, if you're a fan of Doctor Who and you want to do the, the Amy Pond thing, uh, with the second episode with the Beast Below, and you want to go with that being your first costume, go right ahead, do it. If you're a Star Trek person, as I said, a little, a little ribbon will do you, and uh, maybe an iron-on, get some material, get some like an iron-on uh, transfer paper, get a badge, flip it, then iron on the proper uh, vest, uh, vest. Uh, Air, uh, you know, which the best side of the costume to do it on. Then it says it's not that hard to to just remake something or spray paint something, and you're finding it to be an awesome thing to do. And yeah, that's it from and yeah, that's virtually it from me. So as I always say.